Hey guys, this is Brian with Thunder Laser USA. Uh, today we are going to talk about backing up settings in Lightburn. So, there are a few different places to export settings so that you can back them up in Lightburn. Uh, for instance, on your camera, you can export your camera settings separately. And those will be an LBCM file extension, Lightburn Camera file extension. So you'll have to keep up with that one. And in your scanning offset adjustments, you can export those as separate settings. Then that will be Lightburn or LBSO, which is the scanning offsets extension. So you can keep up with that one. Uh, the one that I do uh, is just go in here and I'll choose my device. And I have multiple devices and, and the scanning offsets and all of that are separate uh, for each one of these. So if I want to quote unquote back everything up, um, that to me is backing up my device profile or exporting my device profile so that I can back it up. Uh, in this case, I'm using um, this one, the Ethernet 223 connection right now. I'm not using my Lightburn bridge. And I can export this device profile as Nova 35 profile it's already there uh, I'll because I've went through this once already uh, so I'll just overwrite that so and and I've just backed up most of my my preferences here you know from my devices from my settings that'll include scanning offset adjustments that'll include these uh, simulation settings that you have imported in uh, and all of those things so I do not want z-axis control on on I was playing with that earlier so uh, that's what I do now the library uh, is a little different the library file is wherever you put it or wherever you downloaded it uh, to when you got it off the internet if you got one of the thunder ones that was already made so basically you just hit load in your library and you go find it I have all of mine in my Dropbox here uh, for so here's my Nova 35 library and all I have to do is open that. And I see a lot of people say, oh, after I updated Lightburn or whatever, my library is gone. Well, it's not gone. Lightburn just doesn't know where the path is for it anymore. If you do put those in your downloads folder and a week later you go, oh, that's a Lightburn file from my library. I better put it in my Thunder folder. Well, next time you open Lightburn, it's not going to know where the file is because you haven't told it that you moved it yet. So in that instance, you just need to go back to the library and hit load and navigate to wherever your library file was that'll be a CLB file and import it you know just load it back up uh, and uh, it also matters with the devices if you have multiple devices like I said each of those profiles is going to be different um, and you can also have it where the libraries will bind so if I go for instance to my Aurora um, it's showing that it didn't load one see there's that there's that thing. That's okay. I don't care if it says that. All I got to do is go in here and go to my library now that I'm loaded up in my Aurora and load my library and go find my Aurora library and load it back in. Or actually, this one is the one that I'm using now. So uh, that, that's how that works. Uh, so your library files are a little different. They're not something that you really back up. You need to, but you have a copy of them, a physical copy on your uh, hard drive or on your computer somewhere, and that's where. Uh, that's going to be for your library. Same thing with the art library. Those are created uh, locally on your machine and you'll navigate to those every time. The only other settings that you may want to actually back up are your machine settings. Now your rotary steps per rotation for instance and all of that stuff, all of those settings are going to be in the machine settings. So um, let me go to, oh I'm in Aurora, let me go back to the Nova uh, 223 and let's go back to edit Oops, sorry and there's machine settings now these are all the settings that are the config in the controller um, these you I, I will I, I will uh, get rid of these so I, I, I'm gonna read from the controller just to make sure I said get rid of I meant save them so I'm gonna save these to a file it's gonna be an LBSET file which is the machine settings and I'll just call that you know my Nova and that's all the Ruida configuration for my Nova and I'm gonna save that in the materials library file folder and I'll know where that is that way um, 
this is one thing that's good to do if you ever have to replace your controller, for instance. You should save this file from the existing controller if possible, if it has not failed all the way, and load that file back in um, into the configuration so that all of that stuff is the same. So um, that's really all there is to it. There is one more element, uh, which is the preferences. And you can go, for instance, go up to the file and go to the load preferences backup. Uh, I'll have to make a new project. You can't be in an active project. So let's go back to load prefs backup. And if you'll notice, I can go back all the way to July 21st, you know, at 943 and pull in the preferences for all four of these devices from back then. So if you run into any troubles where yesterday it worked fine and today everything is just out of whack, go back and pull in a previous version of your preferences that may work better for you and load those back in. Um, so hope that helps. Um, Thunder folks, if you have any questions, email support at thunderlaserusa.com and we'll help you that way. Um, other than that, um, have a good day.